to those rods that I'm attaching that hold the grill shell, they have to be bolted in underneath the dash. Which is where I'm going. I took up the uh, temperature gauge sending unit. This is gonna go. There's a hole up in here. It's gonna go right down in there. And then this little bit goes in behind it. This is the connection for the oil pressure gauge. I don't need this big end on here. Uh, I did for the Cadillac, I don't for this, so I'm taking it off. That's what I'm doing. It ain't working very well right there. It might be metric or something. One of them dang metric things. <clears throat> Turns out it was a 11 millimeter. <laughs> and this screws down into the block over in here got a little bit of wire and I have to straighten out I guess the last big thing I've got to do is hook up the uh, hydraulic clutch uh, but I don't feel like starting a big thing right now so I thought I'd hook up a few wires and cables and gauges and stuff like that there I'm pretty sure y'all can't see what I'm doing uh, Hard to get y'all in a place where you can. You could try. I don't know, something ridiculous like this. Well, the part I'm trying to, the part I'm attaching to is down in there. This is going into that hole. So maybe I could set you. Maybe I could set you over here. And have you staring down, word. Like that. You know, I just remembered I made a wrench specifically for this. It might be. It might be this one. I made a little short wrench. It was a little bit bigger than 3 8 I remember I ground it down with a file just for this purpose. Okay, so this branch I made fits that next piece that goes on top of it, but it doesn't fit that. So I may have another wrench back there. I got several homemade wrenches around. What else I got? Let's see if this one will get us there. Not yet either. Yeah. Maybe I can do it with this one. I do have a little more room on my firewall here than I do on the Rambler. Last time I did one of these was on that Rambler and it is hard to make that nearly impossible to reach over in there between you know, the distributor and the firewall and everything and reach this part right here. So I remember that pretty well. Uh, that rambler's got a plastic line on the oil pressure gauge and I remember thinking I'm going to change it one of these days. Never started leaking so I never did change it but I still was thinking I should and I still am. But now I'm thinking well I might pull that engine out one day change it then. <laughs> easy to put off a job that's hard to do and not very comfortable and a little bit aggravating and as a rule of thumb if you have to make special tools to reach into some place because it's too hard then that's a that's a job you want to avoid that crosley's got a thing like that on the i think it's with the the, the exhaust and the intake manifold where they fit together 
I had to make some special wrenches to, to tighten the bolts on that thing. That was a fun day too. Got it done though. I probably can't see what I'm doing in there, but it's okay, I'm still doing it. Oh joy. Alright, let's get the lower part in place. Now let's put the part, the other part in place. Okay, that's done. Now I still have a place where I don't have a, uh, a vent tube. But I've got some old intake manifolds around here with two vent tube things on them. I can find one of them I can make work. Rusty's sending me something in the mail. I haven't got it yet, but it's a bolt for a vent tube. I think I might could use it in a tomato paste can and make one. I might could take one of these old Moroso things and if I could find the right size pipe. I could fit one of these on that, but I can there somewhere. I don't know how it ever fits. Probably wouldn't. Maybe that's not a good idea. Maybe I'll bypass that. 